Let me show you something interesting. Most people have no idea why is it happening, right? It's really simple. So I'm going to add a cube here and I'm going to right click and shade auto smooth, which is going to basically define all the sharp edges on my mesh above 30 degrees angle. Okay. So if I ran, you know, a loop here and moved it a little bit higher below 30 degrees, it's going to be kind of plumpy, right? You know, you can't see the edge. So the only way to flex this edge would be to, you know, drop this down really low to like 11 degrees. But uh, that's going to create another problem that if I, for example, wanted to run a, you know, sort of a less dense bevel here, you see this is going to catch this angle as well. And I cannot have one thing sharp and one thing smooth. It's just simply not going to work because they're at the same angle, right? So it's a problem. So how do we solve this? Well, so instead of changing an angle, you can simply mark it as sharp. But that's going to create another problem. So if I'm going to mark it as sharp, you know, it's going to flex this edge, but it's going to create a problem with bevels. Okay, so let me show you. If I'm going to run a cube here and I'm going to mark all these edges as sharp, right? And I'm going to run a bevel on it, you will notice something interesting, okay? If you zoom in closely, you will see this kind of like a nasty edge here. You see that? And this edge will not be present on this side. See, it's smooth. Why? Because mark sharp is actually marking the edges of this bevel. So if I apply the bevel, right? you see the mark shop's going to be running here. So in order to fix this, right, let me just go back. In order to fix this, you have to remove the mark shop, right? So, you know, select all the edges and go to edge mode and clear shop. And now it's gone. But if you do that, you know, this edge here basically will not be sharp again, right? So how to run a bevel and a sharp edge at this you know very shallow angle at the same time well that's really simple okay you need to run something that's called bevel weight so what you do is you select all the you know all the sharp edges with um with b weight and i can do it with hard ups very easily by going to control tilde and going to sharpening here and turning off all this nonsense except for b weight and then simply control clicking on sharpen which is gonna sharpen all the edges uh, above 30 degrees and then we need to just simply mark this one so mark it and then when I run the bevel I can simply switch it to weight and it's gonna catch this edge as well and I don't have any sharp angles now this issue here is caused by the bevel because the bevel ends up here in the triangle watch this right if I press Z see that's what's happening so what you want to do is you want to run this bevel across entire mesh okay so you want to go here and um, actually you can mark it here with hard ups, right? And then this is gone, right? So that's a simple trick for, you know, for bevel maintenance and sharp edges and um, these markings on the, on the edges of the bevel. And, you know, these are just basics, but uh, the basics are essential. And if you want to learn the basics, the best way to do it is to grab our best selling course, the Hard Surface Accelerator, which is going to teach you everything you need to know about hard surface in a very well structured manner. And in just two weeks or less, learning only 30 minutes a day, you can inhale all that knowledge and be really confident modeling and creating your own stuff in Blender. So grab the course, the link is in the video description and in the comment pinned under the video. And if you're a bit more advanced and you want to push your knowledge a bit further, then you can grab the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter course, which is going to teach you all these lovely tricks with add-ons like box cutter, hard ups, machine tools, etc. And the link is also in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.